Father, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we thank you for all you're doing, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. God, we thank you for all, all of our haters, too, God. Father, we just hate. We just thank you, Lord, for, for all the rejection, God. We thank you, Lord, for all the jealous fellows, Lord, because you're going to show your glory anyway, God. Father, we thank you, Lord. It's not about man, God. It's about you, Lord. And we're going to build your kingdom, Lord, not made by the hands of man. Father, we're going to build up the people, Lord. Father, building up the body of Christ and the yes. fivefold ministry the full stature in the yes. measure of Christ. That the body of Christ go through and out the world. Yes. Imitating their Father in heaven, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your glory that we're about to partake into another level. Yes. And we thank you. As, as religion would tell you, another level, another devil. But that's a lie from the pit of hell. Another level means you're just far away from the devil because he's ground level and God is high and lifted up. And we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. So we're just going to smash all the religious, uh, whatever they say all the time. We have the power to tread on scorpions and serpents. And if we drink any deadly thing, even if they try to bring false doctrine and they try to make us drink it we're not gonna we're gonna throw it up and nothing will hurt us right. no false doctrines all these false doctrines in america run through the church they ain't gonna touch us because we have ears to hear and we only hear what our, our father is saying mm -hmm. we only have ears to hear what the spirit is saying to the yeah. church today what is the spirit saying to you in your life what is the spirit saying follow the spirit and we have nothing to fear nothing to fear Perfect love casts out fear. My Father is love, and I have my ears tuned to heaven. And I thank you, Lord. I'm not going to worry what's going on over on my left and over on my right. I'm going to go right forward, straight in the narrow way. And God has great and mighty things in store for us. And we shall surely see the glory of God in the revival that's coming that's going to shake this world. The glory of God through men will go throughout the world like a blanket covers your bed. Like the water covers the sea. Today's message is show me your glory. Yeah. God spoke to me today about John 17. And he said, you know why there's no uh, agreement in the church? There's so much division in the church. There's so many different denominations. Because they don't, they're not seeking after the glory. They're seeking after man's wisdom, man's ideas, and man's, man's things. And it's called religion. But in the glory, everybody comes together. One spirit. Jesus is the glory. Yeah. John 17 says, These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come to glorify thy Son, that the Son also may glorify thee. He's saying, the hour has come to glorify you, God. So what he's saying? I'm about to die. God. Oh, there it is. Revelation popping in. When you die to yourself, when you die to your desires, when you die to your own dreams, then we give glory to God. Yeah. Jesus was about to die. And he said, I was about to give glory to the Father. And how many know that when we signed up to be in the kingdom of God, we signed up to die to ourselves. We are crucified with Christ. It's no longer who that lives. You guys don't know that one? It's no longer, I. but who? Christ. Christ. Everybody say Christ. Christ. So it's Christ that lives. These are the messages. This is the bread that's going to sustain us during the shaking. God is shaking everything that can be shaken. That the only thing that remains is the glory. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Thou has given me power over all flesh that should give eternal life to as many as given him. And the eternal life that they might know the only true God. They might know who is they? The lost. The lost. And Jesus Christ who have sent. I have glorified thee on the earth, God. I have finished the work which thou gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me that thy own self with the glory which I had given thee before I was the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men that you gave me out of the world. So God gave those men to him out of the world. Now God gave you 
right? He, we're out of the world. Because right here, he says it coming up. I have manifested thy name to the men which you gaveth me. In the world I there were, and thou gaveth them me, and you have kept my word, and they have kept thy word. Now have known all things, what server thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words that you gave me, and they have received them. Everybody say, I'm going to receive the words of truth. The words of truth. That they have received them. And surely I came out of, from thee. And they have believed that thou, uh, you did send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Interesting, huh? Are we going to keep praying for the world? Or pray that God manifests the glory that the world might come unto him? We keep praying for stuff. Jesus wasn't praying for the world. He prayed for people in the world, but he wasn't praying for the world. We're expecting the world to change when it's darkness. Testing. Hello? Okay. No. I get it working. Keep forgetting to order a new one. All right. Somebody text me this week. Okay. Testing. Okay. The same whatsoever thou hast given me, thou art thee. For I have given unto them the words that you give in me, and they receive them. I pray not for the world, but for them which you have given me. For they are mine, and, thine, and mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. I am glorified in them. Is it Christ in us, the hope of glory? Everybody say, Christ in me, Christ in the, me. Hope of glory. the hope of glory. The only hope the world is going to have is Christ in you. That's it. I pray for them and not the world. For mine are thine and thine are mine. And I am glorified in them. That's why we're called the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Not a religious denomination where we come into a building and we live our lives and hope one day when we die we go to heaven. There's something to do on the earth and it got us called us and chosen us for such a time as this. Yes. And he said, I am not no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come unto thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those that thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. So he's saying, I pray, Father, keep them, make them one, the body of Christ one, as the Father and the Son are one. That we shall be one. Everybody say one. one. How many is one? One. How many is that? One. That's it. One. How come we have 7,000 denominations? While I was in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that you gave me, I kept. I have kept. And none of them were lost, except the son of perdition, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. And I now come unto thee, and these things I speak in the world, that thou might have me fully in themselves. It's funny. Jesus prophesied that, and Peter denied him after that. And so he should have just been listening, and he shouldn't have worried about denying Jesus, because he just said that he was... Not lost and only one. Because the devil was tormenting him because of what he did. But then Jesus' love and mercy appeared to him in transfiguration and ate some fish with him on the side of the ocean. And why Peter was naked and he told Peter to get some clothes on. It's okay. And have some fish. And he said, do you love me? He denied him three times. He said to him three times, do you love me? Yes, Lord, feed my sheep. He didn't say, continue fishing, feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my lambs. Do you love him? Yes? Yes. yes. Amen. Well, feed yourself and others, lambs. He said here, For thou should take them out of the world, 
that thou should keep them from evil. I know I have come into the world, and I speak in the world, but they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Joy, guys, not coming in here like you just got in a car accident, and your bills aren't paid. Well, they should be paid. You might be doing something wrong. Obedience brings joy. Obedience brings blessing. Obedience brings power. Obedience brings the kingdom. Disobedience opens up the door for all kinds of side side step and start. So basically, that's why God is getting serious because of the persecution that's about to be unleashed on the Christians in this in this country. I pray that thou should take them out of the world, but thou that thou should keep them from evil. He's praying for us. I keep us from evil. They are not of the world, either as I am not of the world. You, we are not of the world. Everybody say, I am not of this world. I am not of this world. Sanctify them through... What, a, what, what, a, what are we being sanctified through? Truth. 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 And it's not just the truth that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That's what religion will take. The truth in every precept, line upon line, precept upon precept, in this Word of God, it reveals the truth in your life. And as you eat that truth, become one with the truth, and come in communion with the blood and the flesh of the truth of the Word of God, then, right there, you're being sanctified by the washing and the renewing of the mind of the Word. That thou also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray for these alone. That's why it's so important for us to clean out these doctrines of devils out of the church. Amen. That's why it's so important for us to clean out these doctrines of devils out of the churches. Amen. Why? Because the zeal for my house is eating Jesus up. The zeal for his house is eating his prophets up. And God is coming with a vengeance to proclaim his bride. Yes. Neither I pray for thee alone, but for them which you believe on me through this word. And he's talking about us. And then that will come and believe on him by this word. This is strong stuff, God. Right here, this is the answer for all. You want unity? Seek the glory. You want unity? Listen to the truth. Because God is separating. For they shall be one, as the Father and me are one, that they also be in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory, this is it right here, the glory that what you gave in me, I have given them, that they might be one. So right there's the key. They want to go do a, a city baptism and go to the water with no glory, and they think there's going to be unity in the church? Jesus gave us the answer. It's in the glory. In the glory. He just said it. The glory which you gave me, I give them, that they may be one as we are one, even as we are one. In them that they may, that they may be perfect in one. Perfect in one. The, the world may know that thou sent me, thou loved them, thou hast also loved me. Father, I will that they also who not given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, behold my glory which thou hast given me, through love it from the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world had not known thee, but I have known thee, and these known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them your name, declare it. Right there, guys, the glory. Verse 22. The glory which thou gavest me, I give it to them. Whoa, that's deep right there. The glory that he's given, God, Jesus, one with the Father, took the glory from heaven with him, manifested in man, he's given to us. 1 Corinthians 10, 31-33. Whether therefore you eat, or you drink, or whatsoever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Amen. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor the Gentiles, nor the church of God, even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, not seeking my own profit, but the profit, the profit of many, that they may be saved. 
right there. The glory unifies us as one, and for the not for our profit, but that we, that all men and all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. The glory will bring the salvations. There's no way to save people without walking in the glory. I don't care how many Hail Marys and prayer, uh, you tell them in Romans Road Prayers, unless they counter the glory and they get touched, just like people touch Jesus and the truth, and they cried out to Jesus because they encountered the glory, and we will walk in the glory, and the glory will make the churches one. It's not a baptism, uh, uh, regional baptism, all the churches. It's the glory of God given in John 17, verse 22, that's going to bring the church together in one accord. They were one accord in one glory when the Holy Spirit was poured out on the day of Pentecost upon them all. And it's the glory of the church. And, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit is the oil that's going to fill us, that's going to manifest His kingdom. We go into glory, and right now we manifest the glory. That is the promise. So in Matthew 5, 6, it said, Blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. God is righteousness. His word is righteousness. And in that is the glory. So you hunger after the glory, and you will be filled with the glory. Amen. It's not a one dabble, do you? Put some oil on my head. Go to your... Uh, your 14th year old thing and be lived for yourself. There is a church that the gates of hell will not prevail and the devil will not have his foot in it and they will have power and they will cast out demons by the finger of God and that's just how it's going to be and we put you on a call right now saying that this region will see the glory of God and the greatest revival that the earth has ever seen was going to come to this region and go throughout the world because God said and it shall be done. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Revelations 3, 14 through 22. This is our country right here, God's in it, guys, and it's sickening. Unto the church of Lacedonia write these things, save amen and fearful true witness. From the beginning of creation of God, I know thy works, that thou are neither hot nor cold, that you were cold or hot, because you are lukewarm. Neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. Because you say, everybody say, you say, you are rich, you're increased with goods, you have need of nothing, and knoweth not, you can stop now, knoweth not, he's saying, but don't you know you're wretched, wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked, oh, they got big, nice cars, big houses, and he says, you're poor. Poor. America is so poor, it's the poorest country in the world right now. Yes. Spiritually speaking, the poorest country in the world. In the spiritual realm. And God's going to come and shake it. I counsel thee, tried by fire, that you might be rich, white raiment, that you may be clothed, and that the shame of your nakedness does not appear. Anoint thy eyes with eyes, so that, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. For I stand at the door of the churches of America. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and I will sup with him. So he's not in the church anymore, guys. What do you think Jesus is prophesying in Revelation 2 and 3? He's showing us every detail in the last day church, what's going on. And the things, he always says, I like you're doing this, this, and this, but you're lacking here. You're missing this. And I have called you to be perfect as I am perfect. And to him that overcome, I will grant him to sit. So there's an overcoming. Overcoming. It's not a one son. Lord, come into my heart, and that's it. Shut the Bible and, and, and expect. That's not how it works. The gospel is a following of Jesus Christ, a renewing of the mind, and a changing of direction and repentance. And that's how you're saved. And it's not by works that you're saved already, but you follow him because the enemy comes as a roaring lion to seek and devour all that he can yeah. to deceive you. God's not going to do God's not doing nothing. It's just the enemy is taking you the other way if you don't follow Jesus. He's the lamp 
The word is a lamp to our feet. Jesus is a lamp to our feet. And he calls us lamps. He said, you're a lamp. Everybody put your hand on your belly. And say, I'm a lamp of God. I'm a lamp of God. Fill me with oil. Fill me with, Fill me with your glory. Because I'm a lamp. And I got to be a burning. And a shining one. For the king of kings. Because when it's getting darker. My lamp is getting brighter. Trim my wick, God. Get rid of all the dross. Get me refocused. Because the time is short. And I have to be in your will. Father, you said to pray that we be found worthy when you come. We pray right now for ourselves, for our loved ones, that we be found worthy of our calling. Make us worthy, Father. Worthy followers, set apart, fire carriers, glory carriers. I renounce every lion spirit that would tell me that I don't have nothing that I am nothing because I if I I that am born again contain seeds of righteousness seeds of glory and I will water them by the by the washing of the word and God will make the increase and his glory will flood out of me because I am now the temple of God Amen. Amen. So I stand at the door and knock anyone here. I will come and spend time with you, sup with you, show you things. And I say to you, I give my, tell my secrets to my friends. I tell dates, times to my friends. No one, the Bible says no one know the day and the hour. But hey, the week before, Jesus can say, hey, I'm coming next week. Well, guess what? For seven days, uh, you, you, you're going to make sure you're on cue. He said, the day of the hour, hey, you want to get religious on me? Prophet says, I'll do nothing before I reveal it to my servants, the prophets. Yeah. So believe me, Jesus, they were talking about then. God's going to be revealing lots of things in the end time. And he's revealing it now. We have to follow the cloud. Everybody say, I'll follow the cloud. Follow cloud by cloud. Day and fire by night. Day and fire by night. Fire by night. Matthew 25, 1 through 13. My last scripture. No. <laughs> you want more? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> She's hungry. That's my daughter. See? She's mad I'm not going to preach longer. Be the hungry, Father. <laughs> and Jesus would say, Can't you be like this little child? Yeah. Hungry. Yeah. Hungry like this little child. I want 10 more scriptures. Where are you, right. No, 100. All right, let's get on. Matthew 25, 1 through 13. Remember, I was talking about we're lamps. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like, you say, when is then? The end. The end. The end. Everybody say the end. Yeah. The end is coming soon. And it's not about fear we're saying this. I'm saying this. Get ready. Prepare your ark because we're about to be lifted up. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like ten virgins, which took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. And the five of them virgins, right? Christians. Virgins. They were harlots in the world. They got saved and they became Christ. Virgins to Christ. His bride. His. Don't you know that we're, we're engaged? So we're the bride of Christ because we're engaged. So we're romancing our husband and the marriage supper of the lamb is the party so the actual the actual day we say i do we've been saying i do i do all the time but i'm saying the actual consecration was the cross when the blood was shed but the the, the vows when we stand on the white throne is when we actually go in and spend in the glory constantly do you know what i'm saying it's like this is the the honeymoon. No, not the honeymoon, but the, the, the we're engaged. We're his bride. Yes. But we actually meet him face to face and kiss him for real. And that's what, that's, 
and awesome, awesome. The whole body of Christ, and if we read in Revelation, they're all wearing white garments, and the marriage supper was ready, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's so close. And even, it's close even when it doesn't matter we, we, if Jesus tarries or not, because we're only living a vapor. Some of us have 50 years, some 30, some 20, some 15 left. Some people, we don't know how many they have left. So it's coming soon. Whether it's 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, it's nothing. Because we're living for eternity. We're living for another age. That's right. And Jesus is preparing us. And he's getting us right here. That's why we're going through all the hell we're going through. Because he's preparing us to stand in tribulation. To stand in a time when persecution is at our highest level. And they're trying to pluck your beard out. And you got to love. And you got to forgive. And you got to keep focused. It's all about the glory. It's all about the glory. This life doesn't matter. Don't let them make this. Don't let fear come over me that I have to save this life. Because he said if you wish to save this life, you'll lose it. And if you lose this life, you save it. Yes. The gospel is really simple. I don't know what they're preaching out there. All about the blessing, blessing, prosperity, prosperity. I'm prospering because I'm following the, picking up my cross and following him and obeying. It's promised to me. I don't have to talk about it. It's, a, it's like trying to talk about something that is already automatic. But i got to convince, so I want to convince us to obey Him because it's automatic. How can you skip the obedience and keep talking about the blessing? That's a doctrine of devils. Focusing on something just like Moses was going to get the glory and they started focusing on the tangible. Then they, got, they made their own God, the golden calf. God's looking for a church that's going up the mountain to seek the glory. To seek the glory of God. That's what, what glory carries, seek the glory, and we're filled. It says, blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Right there. Hunger and thirst, there's the blessing. Right there it is. Hunger and thirst, there's the blessing. They took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. That's 50%, guys. That's five out of ten. Well, look around the room. But I believe in this place, we got a, we got a high number because that's how God's going to have the real church. But if you go to some mega ministries, it's probably 2%. The few are there. But glory carriers, seeking Him. God's going to do mighty exploits in them and through them. And God is raising up a church that the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Full of power. Someone comes in possessed by demons, they go out free. Amen. Someone comes in and they're not saved, they meet the glory and they, they run to the altar and say, Forgive me, a sinner that I am. Save me. That's what the glory does. Jesus shows up. And they had the foolish with their lamps. They took their oil with them. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. The foolish took the lamps, but no oil with them. But the wise took the oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they slumbered and slept. That's why we say that these bones shall live. Not only Israel, but these bones shall live. The body of Christ that's sleeping. The body of Christ that's so connected to the world that they don't even know where they're going anymore. They need to wake from their slumber. Put eyes solemn on their eyes that they might see. And the midnight cry was made. And the bridegroom came and said, Go out to meet him. Then those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. They trimmed it. They, had, they weren't filling it with oil. What is the oil? The glory. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The power. The baptisms of the Holy Ghost. The fire of God. Everything that we do for the temple of God. We, our prayers go up. We eat the bread. We clean ourselves with the word. It's the whole relationship. It's all about relationship. We're relationship with Him. We only see what He sees. We only speak what He speaks. We only go where He goes. Those that are led by the Spirit of God, those are the sons and daughters of God. 
while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. After they came also the other verse, say, Lord, Lord, open it. it was, the world wouldn't be calling him Lord, Lord. Come on, guys, revelation time, really simple. Lord, Lord, open to us. Hey, we've been in church our whole life. Why are you shutting the door on us? Remember it says, you cast out demons, heal the sick. Praise the dead. Uh, Lord, I prophesied in your name. I never knew you. Depart from me, worker of iniquity. Well, very simple. It's relationship. God would not say he doesn't know you if he's in relationship with you. Anyone can read a book and try to do what the book said. They were doing that when Jesus was walking. Hey, see, said, Jesus, they're casting out demons in your name. He said, if they're not against me, they're for me. He didn't say he knew them. He didn't tell them, right? And they wanted to call down fire, and he said, that's another spirit. But he said, if they're not against me, they're for me. He didn't say he knew them. He just said, after they came, the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open up to us. But he answered and said, verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch. Everybody say, watch. watch. Therefore, you know neither the day or the hour the Son of Man comes. But if you're really close to him, like getting closer, you know he's it's getting closer. Yeah. The closer to him you get, the more he lets you know. Why many are acting like everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, Noah, you're so stupid. Building that ark for 120 years, it's going to rain. It's going to rain, huh? <laughs> yeah. It had never rained before. Yeah, we've been hearing Jesus is coming. We've been hearing the end of the time. We've been hearing all that. Well, look around now. Look what's happening in our country. Look what's happening all around the world. Look at these uh, Muslim groups that are coming up out of everywhere, killing Christians. So I'm telling you what. Watch. Prepare. Get in relationship. 